Welcome to Monday Night Raw. Welcome to James Ellsworth WWE 2K17 My Career Mode. Welcome back to the channel. It's it's the EIC Champion taking on the WWE World Heavyweight Champion in a main event for the ages here on Monday Night Raw. Right here, right now. Let's get to it. Let go, let go, let go of everything. So these two have faced off against each other before. We got James Ellsworth in his corner, Seth Rollins in his. James Ellsworth, uh, James Ellsworth has had some fights recently against Dolph Ziggler and a bunch of other guys. And Seth Rollins coming out of the gate with a sling blade, I think catching uh, James Ellsworth off guard. I think James Ellsworth was trying for something a little bit different. Anyway, here we are on Monday Night Raw. And just to break your immer immersion for a little bit, guys, I actually did go ahead. I looked in the settings today to see exactly what difficulty I was playing on because I honestly hadn't been in the settings in forever and I realized I was on hard so it's not too bad but there's another difficulty above that and that is legend difficulty and that is where we are now and that is where we are going to stay as Seth Rollins uh, is going to be beating the crap out of James Ellsworth in the outside part of the ring and oh planting James Ellsworth on the top of his head outside the ring that's not good it's not good. James Ellsworth could have a concussion early on in this matchup. And James or, or Seth Rollins is absolutely a man on a mission right now. Oh, man. He is not letting Ellsworth get up right now. All right. Ellsworth back up to his feet. And he's going to knock Seth Rollins down with a shoulder block. And he's getting back in the ring. He doesn't want this champion versus champion match to end in a count out. Seth Rollins getting back in the ring. James Ellsworth meeting him for a DDT right there. It's now Seth Rollins is not looking too good. But James Ellsworth, you know, already down to his second level of health. Who knows if that may play a factor as Alexa Bliss thinks it does as she went and grabbed the chairs. Double knees in the corner. Misses by James Ellsworth and rolls or runs away from uh, Seth Rollins, I should say. And gets a knee to the face. Alexa Bliss distracting the referee. James Ellsworth grabbing the chair. Oh, this has been... Should, they've been doing... Oh! Seth Rollins! Hey, ref, you saw that? You saw that, ref? You saw that? Seth Rollins should hit me with the chair, man. Come on, disqualify him. Oh, so James Ellsworth trying to uh, get, get a sneak attack on his opponent with that chair as he has the past couple of weeks with Alexa Bliss's help. So Alexa Bliss has come in great handy. Um, recently, at least. Very very much recently as a snap suplex is going to take Seth Rollins down and James Ellsworth is going to slow down. He wants, to re he wants to keep his stamina as long as he possibly can because you see how it can get when he runs out of stamina. It's not good. And there's another German suplex taking Seth Rollins down once again. James Ellsworth going to the middle rope, and he's going to meet Seth Rollins for a cannonball. It looks like one of the big differences of the Legend difficulty is that Seth Rollins doesn't have any reversals. James Ellsworth going to the top rope. I don't know what he's doing. It looks like the last-minute idea for him. And, oh, he's... Oh, okay. I don't know what he was planning on doing there, but Seth Rollins started getting up to his feet, so James Ellsworth readjusted himself. But James Ellsworth going for a spine buster, and Seth Rollins will connect. And now Seth Rollins not looking too good right now as James Ellsworth's going to drag him to the center of the ring, but I don't think Seth Rollins is done just yet, and I don't think James Ellsworth thinks so either. As he's going to the middle rope, and he's going for that cannonball right there, his patented cannonball from the middle rope. That stomp right there missed by uh, James Ellsworth, but Seth Rollins down once again because of a knee to the face. Oh, man, this match is in its early stages, and these guys are showing that they are going to go through all depths to put each other away as Seth Rollins planting James face first into the mat and Seth Rollins is now feeling it. He is happy. What, what is he doing? I think he's asking James Ellsworth to get up, but he's not complying. James Ellsworth almost got stopped right there, but a drop kick takes him down. James Ellsworth rolls out of the ring, getting away from Seth Rollins. Getting back in the ring is Ellsworth. Seth Rollins getting back in the ring now. James Ellsworth meeting him, and what's he going to do here? A power slam and is going to connect. Oh, man, these guys, like I said, they're going to do whatever it takes to put each other away. Another cannonball keeps Seth Rollins grounded for the mo for the time being. James Ellsworth going to the top rope, and I think he's looking to pay homage to Shawn Michaels with that H with that uh, shoulder, or that uh, elbow drop, I should have said. Missed, though. James Ellsworth rolled up, or got away, and they were both at, at their own respective corners right there. Looked like they looked like they were going to admire each other's work, but Seth Rollins came and tried to attack him, but James Ellsworth was able to take him down, and another spine buster here to Seth Rollins will take him down, and this could possibly set up for the ending of this match via the no chin music. James Ellsworth tunes up the van. Seth Rollins within close proximity of Ellsworth. The no chin music connects. Here is the cover on Seth Rollins. One, two, and a kick out at two. 
Seth Rollins not done yet. Not not quitting. Not quitting. And you can't got it. Can't can't take it away from him. That's the reason he is the cover star of 2K18. But for now, will he be another victim of James Ellsworth's path of destruction? The no chin music connects for a second consecutive time. Here is the cover once again on Seth Rollins. One, two, three. And your winner of a pretty it was a quick but very high offense kind of match. James Ellsworth. James Ellsworth absolutely showed that he was not going to uh, be taken for a fool. He didn't show. He showed that he wasn't going to lay down for anybody. Seth Rollins absolutely came went to town on Ellsworth early on in that matchup, but uh, it was James Ellsworth that came out on top. But let's get on to SmackDown Live and see who we got to be going up against over there right now. By the way, actually, before I say that, we should say that James Ellsworth has picked up a victory over the Intercontinental Champion, his rival. Does that set him up for an IC title match at the next pay-per-view? We will find out, but like I said, let's get on to SmackDown Live and see what we're gonna be facing over there right now. I don't get 2K17 at all. <laughs> I don't get it. Your relationship with Seth Rollins has gotten higher. You are no longer in a rivalry with Seth Rollins. So we are not gonna be challenging for the IC title, it looks like. That's unfortunate. But we got a matchup against Dolph Ziggler on SmackDown Live, and that's who we're going to be going up against right now. We are live from Indianapolis, and oh my god, AJ Styles is coming out, and he is going to be attacking James Ellsworth here on the ramp. James Ellsworth saw that coming, though, was able to plant him on the, on the uh, ramp. Oh my god, AJ Styles, this is actually a high-profile match for uh, or feud that James Ellsworth could be getting himself into. Guys, I never thought I'd see the day Seth Rollins, or not Seth Rollins, AJ Styles is attacking him. Oh, Alexa Bliss helping out James Ellsworth. Run, 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 run. Ooh, okay, run, run. No, 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 dude, dude, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, is he going to throw us off the ramp? No, planting him neck first into the ramp. Alexa, you need to help us here. Come on, come on, plant him, plant him, bam. All right, jawbreaker right there. Let's go, swinging neckbreaker. No, he reversed it. He reversed it. No, I can't reverse shit now. Damn it. Alexa, I need you. I need you, Alexa. Hurry up. Ow. Oh, man. AJ Styles is out here attacking the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And he is absolutely just destroying him right now. He is just stomping away at him. And AJ Styles, what's he doing? What's he doing? James Ellsworth with a knee to the face right there of AJ Styles. And now James Ellsworth throwing him into the barricade. James Ellsworth trying to take down AJ Styles right here. The snap suplex will help him out a bit. Oh, he's going under the ring and he is grabbing a sledgehammer. Oh, you know it. You know, you know James Ellsworth likes to use the sledgehammer to his advantage when people come out to attack him. And he has no problem using it now. Oh, shoot. That went flying. Oh, shoot. We're going in the ring. Oh, we're going to finish this in the ring, aren't we, huh? Oh, you want to finish this, AJ? You want to finish this in the ring? Okay. Impromptu matchup, guys. AJ. Oh. AJ Styles. James Ellsworth here on SmackDown Live. It was originally supposed to be Dolph Ziggler. But AJ Styles took the bait. And, well, James Ellsworth is happy to oblige to that. As you see, the shoulder uh, that, uh, well, whatever that was, uh, looks like it would look devastating on AJ Styles. That, um, okay, that cannonball missed. But so did that stop by AJ. Here is a suplex by... James Ellsworth taking down AJ Styles. And now James Ellsworth setting up for his patented spine buster. But I will not take anything away from AJ. He is definitely a fighter, and I'm not finished with him yet. I know he's got plenty of fight left in him, so I will definitely take the fight to him for as long as he's willing to stay in it. Here's a knee to the face again, trying to get rid of that, that reversal. Come on, use it, use it, dude. I dare you to use it. Come on. Come on, I will just... Boom. How about an Empire State... Uh, Elbow drop right there. Big cast paying homage to him. How about a clothesline to the outside of the ring? Guys, I'm, I'm excited for this match. James Ellsworth absolutely take it. Whoa, whoa, ref, 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 ref. Dude, seriously, man? Ref. I will beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Jabs him in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, outside of the ring again. James Ellsworth is toying with AJ Styles. I don't know if Styles is the guy that James Ellsworth wants to be toying with, though. But there's an elbow drop to the outside of the ring. And, well, James Ellsworth is happy to take the fight to AJ as he does so right now. You know, he's got another signature and he's planning to use it. He's going for his half. Nelson suplexes by James Ellsworth connects right there. 
and James Ellsworth going to the corner. And I think he could be tuning up the van. And he is indeed. He's tuning up the van for the no chin music. If this connects, it might be over. James Ellsworth connects with the no chin music. Here is the cover on AJ Styles. One, two. Th oh, I was about to count the three. And AJ kicks out at the last second. I had to see that coming. And I kind of did. Kind of did. That's why I had the other finisher ready to go. Tuning up the van once more for AJ Styles. Here it is. No chin music connects. Once again, here's the cover. One, two, and AJ Styles kicks out again. Wow, what a... Guys, I honestly thought that was it. I thought that was it, but AJ showing that he is definitely phenomenal. <sighs> Kicking out two no chin musics is definitely a way to show it. Oh, AJ going for a, a forearm. And I think he was going for, or he's setting up for his Styles Clash. Unable to get it, though. There's a running forearm by, by James Ellsworth. James Ellsworth going to the top rope. Slowly, but surely. And he's going for his elbow drop, and it connects. Here is the cover on AJ Styles once again for the win. He isn't enough. One, two. Three, no, AJ kicks out again. Guys, I was, I thought this match was over already. But James Ells, or you know, AJ showing that uh, he's got plenty of fight left. Plenty of fight left no matter how, how much you take it to him. And AJ, once again, not looking too great right now. As James Ellsworth goes for his spine buster, and it connects. Oh man, I think it's time to tune up. Okay, you know what, go for a cover. Go for a cover after the spine buster. One. Two and a kick out at two again, guys. Looks like it might take a third. No chin music, and James Ellsworth is going to be happy to give it to him. He is going to the corner. AJ Styles set in the center of the ring. James Ellsworth exhausted from this match, I guess. As you see, barely tuning up the van. No chin music connects once again. Three. No chin musics, but did James Ellsworth have enough to to put him away? Oh, James, you're going to have to hurry up, dude. You're going to have to hurry up. Crawl. Crawl your freaking ass. There's the cover on AJ Styles. Is it enough? One, two, three. James Ellsworth brought, or I should say AJ Styles brought the fight to Ellsworth. Ellsworth responded by bringing the fight back. James Ellsworth absolutely taking it, taking AJ to the limit in this matchup. AJ taking James to the limit in this matchup, but it was James Ellsworth with that no chin music is the reason he is still your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Guys, where does this, where does this career go from here? You'll just have to stay tuned as you see a, a, a replay with a fan in the way. That's great camera work, guys. Great camera work. Stay tuned for everything, guys, in terms of WWE 2K17. Uh, be sure you uh, smash the like button if you did enjoy, though. And until next time, have a great day or night, or whenever you're watching this, check out the, the description for all my social media links, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.